Well, hello. I'd like to welcome you to my first impressions of the Lamy Artist Prints 15P. This is a Lamy fountain pen from the 1970s. Uh, of course, you can tell why I liked it right away. Just look at that nifty 70s look and the color. Yeah, I like it. So, of course, I had to buy it. Uh, and pretty low cost. This, I don't think, is one of their collector pens. But uh, I don't care. I liked how it looked. So let's find out how it writes. And of course, I want you to remember that this is a first impressions only, uh, which means my information is limited. And more importantly, my experience is limited. Uh, I don't know those things that you find out only after you've used a pen through several fills of ink. So let's take a look at it. So uh, I will admit, since it's a vintage pen, that the pen has been cleaned thoroughly. Whenever you buy a vintage pen, you should always flush it with uh, pen cleaner and water and so on. Make sure uh, any residual ink is out of it, which there was a residual ink in this one, and make sure any nasties are killed. So, this is how I know it's an artist, artist Prins 15P. Other than that, fairly unassuming, just nice red. Uh, the finial doesn't have an L or any of the typical Lamy things. It has a crown, which I'll be interested to research the story behind that. It is a screw cap pen. I suppose a semi-hooded nib is what you'd call it, and definitely steel. Reminds me a bit of the Lamy 2000 or the Lamy 99 or the Lamy uh, 27. And cartridge converter. Uh, this is the other thing I had to do. I couldn't, I tried a Lamy converter in it. The Lamy converter didn't fit. So I put, I'm not sure what make this is, but whatever make this is, it fit. We'll find out if it works as I fill it in this video. Which, now that I've capped or put the barrel back on, I think it's time that we do that. So, uh, I thought it would be fun to try this one out with an ink I haven't used before. It's a Krishna Gat Green. And apparently it's writing ink. Neat. It's like a Christmas pen, only, you know, kind of a strange Christmas colors. Alrighty, so let's uh, remove the barrel yet again. Trying to give you the best look I can. It's bubbling. I know nothing about the nib size in this pen, so I'm not going to comment. Although, as soon as I said that, I turned the pen over. See, this is what happens when you do first impressions. You don't know anything. As soon as I turned the pen over, I noticed an F. I feel like that means fine. Now, yeah, my German is way out of practice, but I just got a feeling. Call me crazy. Okay, so the ink is, of course, Krishna. Who says your ink has to match your pen? Gat Green. So first thing I people always ask is flex. I think you can already tell that there's not going to be a lot. I feel like there's some line variation there, though. Not lots, but enough to make it a little bit interesting. And the pen is feeling actually fairly comfortable in my in my hand. But then I think, you know, I own several pens with this rough shape. You know, Lamy pens that I would say the same thing. So kudos to Lamy. They do know what they're doing. They do know how to make a good, comfortable pen. Uh, wetness and flow. No trouble there. The smear test, which is 
Not the best test because I don't always use the same ink or the same paper. But it seems to be a fairly wet pen. Um, and then the reverse writing. Because some people are into that kind of thing. A little scratchy, but I'd say a very decent extra fine. And finally, this Pierre Gustafson test where I can just see how it writes continuously. Which I think it does very well. The well, truth is, this will be one of my very few Lamy pens with a screw cap and not a slip cap. So I'm going to have to remember that because if you're really struggling to pull the cap off your pen, you're also damaging your threads. So don't. Uh, I just have to remember that for myself. Uh, one important test for somebody like me Okay, a little bit of a struggle, but it is a thicker shirt. It does seem to slip into the pocket very well. So all in all, I'm quite pleased with the L Lamy Artist Prince 15P. Um, but remember, this is only a first impression. Uh, I'll do the full review after two or three full fills have gone through the pen. Uh, first impressions are exactly that. They have nothing to do with experience or knowledge. So I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.